up guys what's good welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you this outlined flicker text effect that i use in my instagram reels all the time i use them in youtube videos like this i use it all the time and i get asked all the time how do you do it where is it from what is it i get it from motion vfx it is a plugin i'm going to show you how simple it is to create this text effect right here and i'm also going to attempt to recreate it for you from scratch so let's get started all right cool we got final cut open and from if i play it from the top right here let me mute this if i play it from the top you can see there is the flicker outline text effect it's got my logo it's got text it's got this flicker blurry prism like effect i love it it's so easy and then over here we have this text which is just a basic title cut it off and then cut it back on i'm gonna attempt to recreate something similar to the motion vfx flicker outline text effect so this is just a layer you cut it off and on if you come into the text tool right here you go to m music video 2 this is a pack from motion vfx has a lot more to offer inside of it but the thing that i use the most is this flicker effect text it's typography number six all you do is click this drag it in then i'm going to disable the one i already uh customized and i'm going to show you from the top how this looks you can see it uh stutters blur prism effect comes in and it's already done pretty much you just go into you click this you go into the settings and you change the text to whatever you wanted to say tutorials or tutorial then you could just click on the text move it around i like to use the center tool here with the yellow lines so you can center the text then you can move this text to wherever you want it and then the logo if i click back on here come down to the uh, settings of this actual uh, typography plugin you can move the logo around by using this uh, logo position spot right here so it's very simple if you're trying to change the logo out you just click this little uh, down arrow and then you come to your assets and then just have your logo in a png format in there and hit apply clip click this again come back down to the logo and then we can just scale the logo down so that it fits in the little crop which is right there and then we can make this as big as we want I'm gonna say like right there. Then below that, you got the colorize, so I can do the highlights and I can change the logo pretty much to whatever color I want. I can use the eyedropper and pull like one of these nice pinks out of this um, color grade from the video. I can come back up here. I can change the font of this. Let's just say this one. We could change the size of it, 300. Well, no, let's do 500. Let's bring this other text up actually and center this and then bring this down right here. So we could keep that if we wanted or if we wanted it to just be a title without that um, subtext. You can just come in here, click this arrow right here, and that cuts that off. You can also bring it back if you want to, and you can change the color of the fonts just like this. We could do it just like that. If I bring it back, you can see it's already done. The work is done. The flicker, the blur, the prism, everything. You just drag it and space it out as far as you want it to go. It just does the work for you. It's so simple. And that's why I love using Motion VFX because they have stuff like this. This specific pack is the M Music Video 2 pack from Motion VFX. They have tons of other different types of uh, titles that can come in that you can use and it has overlay effects, film mats, camera movements, transitions, all of that stuff. But this is just a text effect that I use. I use this in all my videos. It just saves me time and it looks cool. Now that you know about motion VFX and you know which title that I use, typography number six in the M Music Video 2 pack, I use this on all my stuff if you've been wondering. I'm gonna try to attempt to recreate something similar. I'm gonna disable this real quick. So I wanna create a flicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come forward one frame. I'm gonna cut the title or basic title, come again, cut it delete that one, cut, go forward one, cut, delete. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it again, cut. Now I have five empty slots in between the text, so it should do a flicker just like that. Then I'm gonna try to come here to the end and do the same thing. Cut, go back, cut, delete that, cut, go back, cut, delete that, boom, now we got five. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of this and I'm gonna right click and do new compound clip and I'm gonna name it text effect, why not? Hit OK. Now it makes all of that into its own little clip. So I can put stuff on this clip now that I have like the effects done inside of it. So if I click this, I can go in and I can see where I have my uh, flicker effect here in the beginning and the flicker effect in the end. But I'm going to go back and I'm just going to put some effects on top of this to try to create a similar effect. So I'm going to hit this effects browser. I'm going to go to blur. I'm going to grab a Gaussian blur and drag it over top of it. Way to... Uh, intense so i'm gonna hit show here and i'm gonna bring this down to like maybe like a 10 mm, maybe 15 and i'm gonna set a keyframe by pushing this button right here at the beginning of it i'm gonna hold shift hit the forward key one time to go 10 frames and then one two three four five 
extra. So 15 frames ahead, I'm gonna set another keyframe and I'm gonna uh, change the amount of the Gaussian blur to zero. So as it's flickering in, it's kind of blurring, it's coming from blurry to clear, so it's bringing it in clean. That already looks cool on its own, honestly. Then I'm gonna add this prism effect, which is in the blur tab as well. But I think I'm gonna bring this down to like a five. I'm gonna set a keyframe at the beginning of the clip the same way I did before. Hold shift, hit the forward arrow on my keyboard once. One, two, three, four, five. So 15 frames ahead. I'm gonna set another keyframe and I'm gonna do zero amount on the prism. So let's see how that looks. So it gives it like a little prism effect over top of the Gaussian blur, which looks cool, comes in cool. So let's go back to the top of this clip again, and I'm going to add in, let's see, a directional blur as well. Now this one, I'm going to go to like 200, and it's going side to side horizontal, so I'm going to change the angle to 90 degrees. The text is like stretched out up and down uh, vertically, and I'm going to set a keyframe on the amount right here at 200 at the beginning of the clip. And then I'm gonna go shift forward once, twice. So now that's 20 frames ahead instead of the 15. I'm gonna set another keyframe and I'm gonna go to zero this time. Now let's see how this looks. Uh, it's a little bit too slow. So yeah, not 20 frames. Let's hit Command Z and undo that. Command Z, undo that uh, keyframe. So let's go, we're gonna do 15 frames again. Let's try this. Hit this keyframe, hit zero. Now let's see. That's pretty cool. You know what? I'm actually gonna undo that again. And then I'm gonna come back to the front and I'm just gonna hit shift and forward once. So it only does 10 frames. So the directional blur will affect faster than the other prism and Gaussian blur. So let's hit the keyframe here at the 10 frame, zero. And I like that, I like that more. So it's kind of like a flicker, blurry prism effect, kind of similar. But then if we go back and watch this one, this one's very clean, very simplistic. But the fact that I could just drag that and change the text on the Motion VFX one is always gonna be easier to me than having to go through and do all these different effects on a text layer. Having typography packs from Motion VFX is just easier and it's quicker, faster for any type of workflow, for any type of project. So then even here on the end, I would do the same stuff. So come to the end of the clip, shift backwards, one, two, three, four, five. And then we would set the keyframe again on all of these effects at zero. And then we'll come to the end, go back one frame, and then we will go 200 on the directional blur. And then we would go five on the prism. And let's say um, 10, five, and then we'll go right there. And now it should affect in and then out at the end. So coming in right there, just like that, looking good and then coming out. The Gaussian blur needs to be a little higher, so I'm gonna go maybe like a 20 right here so that it starts blurring out fast on the out part. And even on that, um, on the out part, I don't like how big this directional goes, so let's change that to 100 on the last keyframe. That way it's a smaller like stretch on the text with that directional um, effect. So let's watch that coming in just like that. That looks fire, and then coming out. Now nah, that's clean, that's clean. But again, you really can't beat just having this already done for you. This pack is actually by my boy YC Imogen, a collab with him in Motion VFX as well. So I obviously had to get it. If you're interested in picking this up, definitely click the link down below and go pick this up. Motion VFX has tons of other packs with transitions that I use and other types of typography plugins like lower thirds that I use in my YouTube videos and even like overlays to get film emulation or film grunge and ghosting effects. There's so much at Motion VFX. So it's not just about this one. Motion VFX is a gem for anybody. Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, or Premiere Pro. Hopefully you got something out of this video from my little uh, attempt to recreate the text flicker effect or the fact that you can save time by using plugins from Motion VFX. Slap the like button if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment if you have any questions about Motion VFX or about my mini tutorial with the uh, flicker effect. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video, man. Pick up Motion VFX. Save yourself some time and stop wasting so much time. You got to get the stuff rolling out here. Get the work back to your clients. Get your content out on your socials. Let's get it done quicker. Make it easier on yourself. Motion VFX. Peace.